or a health system or a, a, an industry system or environment or agriculture. And to think that you can exist without those areas is not necessarily to think through what a society needs at a macro scale. At a micro scale, of course, you don't need those things. All you need is a clear set of law. And that's precisely what the canons are all about, a clear set of law. So Eucadia is not merely addressing the, the local community, it needs to address the macro as well. So the first handover is this. There are 10 codes in the first draft that have already been produced and they need to be validated by you and by the communities that you are happy. And that includes the civil code, the criminal code, judicial code, police code, prison code, military code, emergency code, as, as a start. And there are several others. I can't re recall which ones are finished. But there are about 10 that are finished. But there are 33 codes of procedures that need to be finished. Now, in that, as procedures, they're describing how those systems operate. How does health function and fitness function? How does food and drugs function? How does education function? And more particularly, too, what are the kinds of forms that are used in the flow of information in a society? Now, you all have on the call tonight, and those that listen, all have different skills. And you all know people who have different skills and experience. Some of you are teachers or have been teachers. Some of you are doctors or have been doctors. Some of you are lawyers, hopefully, and, and hopefully will still continue to have an interest in law. Some of you are builders. Some of you know aircraft and transport and, and across the full spectrum of society. So that is knowledge that has, a, has enormous importance. The first group that has stepped up to the plate and said, we want now to use our knowledge to complete the uh, code of health and fitness is the uh, health UKD group that is listed on the university UKD.info site, having its own Skype group as well. And soon will have its own uh, identity on a website that will be the a more finished debating website, which is restorelaw.org. That's one word, restorelaw.org, which over time will be updated. I apologize for the fact that that site is still work in progress, but over time that site, as well as university, uh, will become the place to see the progress of these codes and interaction. So I thank all those that have put their hand up to um, participate in the development of the health and fitness code to a first draft status, hopefully by the end of the year, in order to then provide that to the communities for their agreement at a state level and at a national level. The other codes, and I said uh, there are um, roughly 23 that we also need to finish. The next ones off the rank will be food and drugs code, where we'll be um, adding that as a template into the um, into the health group as well because of its connection. And then as separate groups, there is already a Eucadia Energy, Alternative Energy group up. We'd encourage that group to step up to the plate and help with the energy code. But then there is the agricultural code, education code, and building construction code. Now, if you want to know the codes that are missing, then I recommend you go to any of the union sites like americas-union.org or oceanic-union.org or euro-union.org or asia-union.org where you'll see the list of the codes on the home page. And what we want to do, and really it's up to you, I, I'm, this is the first proof to you of the handover. If enough people come together and choose to share their experience and knowledge then truly these codes can be brought into um, a good first draft. Now, <clears throat> before we move on, a question people say is why? Why, I, I answered a bit before, but again, why, why do we want to spend time on these things? And the answer is 
if you take health, for example, the horror stories that are coming out of health are extraordinary. Appalling is probably a better word. And when you look at the reasons for such corruption, it can't all be put on the deliberate misdirection of resources into the subsidising of synthetic painkillers, accounting for over 90% of the profits of pharmaceutical companies versus making natural painkillers illegal. Nor can it be argued, even though that is well in, in excess of $140 billion corruption every year, that one insane policy. Nor can it be regarded that the policy of investing in extraordinarily expensive equipment at the expense of frontline staff is itself a corruption of health. They are major factors, but when it comes down to it, it is the policy and procedures of health that regards bigger is better. Massive hospitals and numbers and the complete removal of the concept of service. So if we want to see our health system restored to some resemblance of sanity, it is going to be up to you and those that you know and encourage to become involved in Eucadia and those that are listening to this call to become involved because it's not going to be up to Franco Collins or anyone else. It will be up to you stepping up to the plate and helping make a difference. So I hope in the coming days and weeks that we will see specialist groups for all the areas of the codes of law where your knowledge and your interest and your willingness will make a significant historic difference in the strength of the open source model that is Ucada. And as I say, it is proof that the handover has begun. Shifting now to the EDP process. Uh, on the EDP process, the instruction is being finalized and the reason that it is not up on the site now is that in light of what I've just described in terms of the completion of the codes, I have also asked a number of people to assist in them providing the base knowledge in terms of what they feel the instruction should be rather than it being from Franco Collins and from some kind of top down. If I'm to be believed and if Ucada is to be believed as an open source model that is for everybody, then some of these things are going to take a little bit longer because it's going to require you to be involved and not me to be the one doing it. The same actually is going to apply to some of the areas of the land and home process, such as the uh, uh, creation of a counterclaim and, and some of those things. I've been provided with some wonderful information from a number of you on the efforts that you have done in this area, and I thank you for that. I think, however, in light of what we're saying, it really uh, is important that, again, it is up to a number of you to help in contributing to that, to see it finished rather than being a direction from Franco Collins. Now, um, before I'll, I'll get down to issues in a second, but we'll go to communities now. Oh, Ritz, in fact, let me cover Ritz. The development of Ritz has been um, temporarily, only temporarily put into um, a state of hold because of the latest information concerning indulgences and the fact that we are now able to prove that indulgences are at the heart of a three-layered system for all negotiable instruments. The ritual that underpins every negotiable instrument is it is part of an indulgence, it is part of the sacrament of penance. Above that then is trust law and above that then is commercial law. With that in mind, we wanted to uh, see that the writs are uh, more tightly perfected and in that there is a need for some of the canons under administrative law to be uh, 
up on the site because we want to be able to reference some of that in the pre preparation of the writs. So again, I know that a number of you have some very serious issues of family and friends and loved ones in prison and facing a constant um, threat of fear of the bar doing at what it wants at will. But I just ask, please, to please allow us the time to perfect this so that whatever we do, even if it is dishonoured, it is with the foundation and absolute knowledge that it is the foundation of not just what we are presenting, but the foundation of their law as well. Communities. Um, on communities, the union charters uh, are being finalised and a number of corrections have been made in those and the importance of having those completed is that the community charter is derived from the state charter, which is derived from a national charter, which is derived from a union charter, which is derived from the covenant of one heaven. So the union charters, <coughs> excuse me, need to be finished. I'll just have a drink, one sec. <clears throat> the union charters need to be finished in order to make sure that the national charters are up to speed, the state charters are up to speed, and the community charters are up to speed. The union charters are significant documents in their own, and it's been a uh, flat-out process to get them ready, and I'm confident to say I believe and, and Brian later on might be able to concur on this, but I believe we'll be in a position certainly within the next week, week and a half, couple of weeks to say that the union charters are done. Now in parallel to that, the community charter will be available on the notes that are going up onto the site as a generic model. It will not be your specific community yet because the cascading effect of these documents needs to be finished, but I see no reason for the community charters not to be available as a generic template for you to start to become familiar with it, ask questions, uh, consider it as a formation document uh, to start getting people involved, knowing that, that your actual charter for your community will be ready certainly within the next few weeks as we complete these charters. Now when they're completed, these charters are handed over so when the union charters are completed and the national charters are completed and the state charters are completed down to you forming your local community charter, then the handover of that law is to you. You then become the stewards and protectors of that hierarchy above, not I. There is no elite that is in charge of that thereafter. Each community then becomes a self-contained unit to protect not just its own rights, but the rights and view of its state, its nation, and its region. So when your local charter is registered and validated, that is a very important handover of responsibility to your local community. The community manuals are being finalised, and by communal manual, I know it sounds a bit odd to say community manual, but the community manual, which is how do you establish your community, or how do you take the ideas if you cater to an existing community and make it work are also being finalised. Now to speed up the process I look forward to asking a number of you to um, provide your comment and then ultimately for everyone to provide their comment to make sure these are working. Included in that is the establishment of the community register and how to make that work and also um, the fact that your existing bank accounts, everyone who has redeemed their membership number and therefore has a Liveborn record as well as a Promised Land record, also has a bank account set up in Eucadia. By that I mean an account that is yours, an account that will be available to assist you and those in the community to exchange energy, to exchange the currency of the community, and to start to retain more and more of your energy and see value for the energy that you produce.
So I'll explain a bit 